The CardioLife Tech 5631 is a compact manual defibrillator, AED and monitor following an easy one, two, three step to deliver a high current electrical shock to treat patients with a VF or a VT. The main element in the front panel is a rotary switch, intuitive to use and very fast in operation. The status indicator shows the device readiness. Below the screen are function keys for lead selection, sensitivity, event tracking, a freeze display, a guide, as well as the battery charging status, the silence alarm key and the record key. On the left side of the front panel all buttons for the pacing feature can be found. On the bottom right the hard pedals or the disposable pads can be connected. On the bottom left the battery compartment can be found. The power cord can be connected at the back side to run on AC and charge the battery. The left side contains the inlets for the ECG leads, the SpO2 finger probe, the CO2 sensor kit and the optional NIBP module. On the right side you can find the recorder for 50mm paper. The hard pedals are embedded in the housing of the top. Practical sockets hold the hard pedals when the gel is already applied. For children use, the hard pedals can be modified to a smaller surface. If Nihon Koden disposable pads are used, a clear EZG signal is guaranteed, even during CPR. The clear wave technology of the pads ensures that the chest compressions are filtered out. The pads can be used for adults and children. In manual mode, the Tech 5631 charges up to 200 joule in less than 4 seconds. The synchronized cardio version delivers an electrical shock with appropriate timing after detecting a patient's QRS wave. The cardio version is used for elimination, for instance of atrial fripulation or atrial flutter. In AED mode, disposable pads are needed. The DFib analyzes the patient's EZG and judges whether an electrical shock is needed. When pressing the button AED, energy is charged to the default of 150 Joule. Press the shock button to deliver the shock. When the patient is a child up to the age of 7 years, please use the AED in child mode. For the first shock, 50 joules are set as a default. All energy levels can be changed in the system setup. Patients with bradycardia can be paced with two modes, fixed and demand. In fixed mode, the pacing current is output at a selected pacing rate, regardless of spontaneous heartbeat. In demand mode, the pacer senses the patient's heart rate and will pace if the beat is slower than the actual rate selected. The CardioLife Tech 5631 defibrillator has various monitoring functions, showing waveforms and numerical values, including EZG signal and heart rate, SpO2 value, pulse rate and SpO2 curve, as well as CO2 waveform and tidal CO2 partial pressure and respiration rate. The optional external NIBP unit has two inflation modes, INIBP measuring while inflating and a conventional inflation mode. Measurement can be triggered manually, automatically with different intervals 
And there is a start mode for monitoring NIBP during general anesthesia. The trend graph shows per parameter a chronological trend of the measured value. The range of the time axis can be adjusted. In the event list report, all events are listed with a clock time or elapsed time. The defibrillator performs a self-test every month on the 15th day or every day when the defibrillator power is turned on off and when the power cord is connected disconnected. The latest self-test screen shows all items that are checked, for instance the battery and internal circuits, with date and timestamp. The basic functions and operations of the defibrillator should be checked on a regular basis. This includes system check, pedal check, defibrillation check and others. To perform a review of certain detailed functions, an external defibrillator analyzer is necessary.